Hey guys, Casual Gamer 84. Welcome back to the game room or wherever I'm at right now. Uh, I'm doing some green screen stuff and I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, so that's probably what you're all going to get since there's a green screen behind me. Uh, so I think I got some some footage. Uh, I think I may have done a video or took a picture or something like that. If I do, and I'll put it in here somewhere. Uh, but to sum that up, if I don't have it. I went to the Goodwill and I picked up uh, six games uh, for 99 cents a piece. Um, two Call of Duty Black Ops uh, 2, uh, some Halo games, and I don't know what the other one was, and a couple other Call of Duty games. Uh, they wouldn't take Halo 4 or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, uh, I guess just because they sell them for so cheap. Um, but they did take the other ones. So for four dollars, I got thirty-two dollars trading credit, which was awesome. So there's that thirty-two dollars trading credit and some points I had, another coupon that I had. Uh, I got on GameStop.com, and they had a sale going on uh, to where you buy uh, two games at fourteen ninety-nine or less, you get one free. And then they had another deal that kind of added to that or compounded to that, to where. Uh, if you got a fourth game, you got so much percentage off that game. And then with my coupons, I got four Xbox 360 games for free. Uh, or for $4, I guess. So the original $4 that I spent. Uh, so I traded four essentially trash games uh, that I found at the Goodwill for dollar piece for four what I would consider good games on the Xbox 360. Uh, so we'll get right into that. If I can not drop these everywhere. Uh, so the first one, it came in three different packages uh, when I ordered it. I assumed that it come that way uh, because it came from different stores or different warehouses or whatever the situation was. But I got three packages nonetheless. One came one day and two other ones came the next day. So first I have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Mutants in Manhattan. Uh, again, all these are Xbox 360. I've not played this game from my understanding. It's a, like a beat-em-up. Uh, I like the Ninja Turtle beat-em-ups. So definitely glad to have that, uh, and it did come uh, complete. Uh, so that's pretty awesome there. The next one that I got, I think this one was actually the first one that, that came. Um, that is Destroy All Humans, Path of the Furon. So it's Destroy All Humans 3. Uh, I didn't really know this game existed until I seen it. I played the other two. Uh, so glad to have this. They're really fun games. And again, uh, it is complete. Uh, so glad to, to have that in the collection. And then the last two came together. I assume they came from the same place. I don't know. First up, we have Transformers War for Cybertron. Uh, I heard this was a really good game. Uh, I don't remember which channel I was watching. Uh, and they were talking about this game. If I can think of it, I'll link it in the description below. Uh, but again, it came complete. Uh, so glad to have that. And then uh, the one that I'm most excited about, because uh, I've kind of been on a Konami kick uh, for the Sega Genesis. Uh, so I like Konami games. I picked up Silent Hill Homecoming on the Xbox 360. Well, I've already said that. Uh, all of them are Xbox 360 games. Um, this one did not have a manual, uh, but uh, it is Silent Hill uh, Homecoming nonetheless. Uh, total value of those, I think, was around $80. So I spent $4, got $80 worth of games. That's pretty awesome. Uh, so when people say that GameStop, um, they don't give you anything for your games, well, of course, if I take a, you know, a Madden 15 in there and a... NBA 2K16 in there, I'm probably not going to get anything for those games. Um, and for whatever reason, the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 uh, is really up there uh, with trade-in. I think they were $12 a piece on those, which is pretty awesome for a dollar investment. Um, Nintendo Wii uh, is doing really good now with first-party titles. Uh, so your Mario's and Zelda's and uh, your Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort. Uh, those do really good uh, trade in as well. Uh, so there's definitely some deals to be had at GameStop. Uh, you just kind of have to get out there, get your hustle on, uh, and kind of uh, see what you get from them. 
So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Definitely go over and check out GameStop. Uh, it's hit or miss. Uh, you know, sometimes I get on there and there's a lot of stuff. Um, in stocks, I'm looking on there and there's nothing in stock. It really depends on the deal. Uh, they've not been much in the retro game for the last, you know, probably year or so. Really, I, I'm assuming the, you know they done some some deals around Christmas time a little before that. Uh, there were some really good deals like buy two get two uh, deals, uh, and most people bought all the retro stuff out. And I assume they just wanted to get rid of it, uh, which sucks for for the collector like you and I. But it is what it is. You can still get some good games out there. Something else that you can do as well uh, is if your local store has it in stock, uh, in the shipping options when you're like in your cart, you can switch it to pick up in store, and you can pick it up in the store the next day and still order it online and do the deals and all that cool stuff. Uh, so guys, thank you for watching. If you've already done so, hit that subscribe button. If you like the content, hit that like button and ring that bell, uh, and you will be notified when I post a video for you. So until next time.